Hey there, it's Scott here. I wanted to take a minute and walk you through how to use the main product search functionality here in DataSpark, including the visualizations that you'll have access to when you're analyzing an individual product. So you can go ahead and get logged into DataSpark, and once you're logged in, you can use the search bar up top to put in a product name or a Walmart ID or the URL of a specific product that you want to analyze. So we can go ahead, we'll do a search here. I'm going to look for Pokemon cards and there will be a number of variations that come up on this but you know there, there are a few but we'll just go ahead we'll we'll take a look at this first one that comes up so on this main search results page we can see a snapshot of the product and we can see how the price has changed recently including a few details uh, de last updates I have a link here to the product page on walmart.com as well as this button here where you can see a more detailed analysis so you know if you find the product you're after you can go ahead and click here to view history this will take us to um, a more detailed uh, page with some graphs that tell us about how this product is doing on Walmart screenplace so you can use this top graph here uh, to select some specific metrics to display by clicking them here on the right hand side. So if we go ahead, you can, um, for example, if you want to just track the price, you can go ahead and deselect the others and select the price. Uh, and this can show you how the price has changed on this item over time. You can select the sellers uh, and you can just see how many sellers uh, have listed this item over time. You can select buy box here, and that will tell you how this item has performed in the buy box over time. If you want to get an even more detailed view of the buy box, you can also click up here where it says data, and you can see a, a, a breakdown of which seller or sellers win the buy box on this item and how often. You know, it can be a big indicator for you on how, how you intend to compete on a specific product. Uh, you can also use this view to see how a product has performed in a specific category over time by selecting sales rank over here. Um, or if you want to select all ranks, you can look at the categories where this market marketplace uh, has this product ranked highly. So you see there are categories here where this product does really well. I know this is kind of loud because this is a product where it's listed a lot of different places, but you can use this to, you know, deselect the categories that you don't have an interest in or might be too broad. And then you can kind of narrow in on the ones that you have an opinion on or that you want to dig deeper on um, and do some analysis there here using this chart down below. But yeah, let us know if you have other, other questions or if you have any input for us on this main product search page.